Well, the Arctic matters to Europe for, for very many reasons, actually. For a start, European Union is in the Arctic. We have three member states, uh, the Kingdom of Denmark, Sweden and Finland, that are Arctic states. We are um, consumers of a great number of products that come from the Arctic, fish, oil, gas. And in the future, particularly for the green transition, uh, a number of minerals found in the Arctic will also be important. But I think perhaps more importantly, we are the, the leaders in, in the fight against climate change and we're trying to drag other countries and, and other regions along with us. We've made the target of being the first carbon-free continent by 2050. And you know, what better illustration is there of the need for the Green Deal than what is happening in the Arctic? You know, the geopolitical situation in the Arctic is extremely interesting at the moment. Well, as the ice melts, not only is it unfortunate in itself, However, it does also open up the possibility of greater exploitation of resources. And it also opens up new potential shipping routes, particularly the Northern Sea Route past the Russian coast. China, in 2019, published its first ever Arctic policy document and talked about itself being a near Arctic state. A number of Asian countries are now observer states to the Arctic Council. Now, Russia, at the same time, has been rebuilding some of the military capacity that it had in the Arctic. Basically, I think uh, EU Special Envoy for the Arctic or Ambassador at Large for the Arctic, whichever you prefer to call it, it has three main parts, I'd say. For a start, we're developing uh, an updated EU Arctic policy this year. Secondly, I do a lot of um, visibility work externally. And thirdly, I think it's very important that we increase the visibility of the Arctic internally within the EU institutions. On a personal level, um, I actually went to Tromsø for a, for a New Year's holiday with my family about a year before going to Iceland. Uh, and the idea was to do the Arctic thing, to see the Northern Lights and to go on dog sledding and go and see some Sami people and some reindeer herders. And funny thing was, having done that, and it was fantastic, I ended up living in Iceland about a year later. So, you know, hopefully once COVID is over, I'll be able to start uh, exploring a little bit more. Because I think it's important if you're working on the Arctic that you actually understand the Arctic. It's all very well. We always say it's very important to take account of the views of the indigenous peoples. And that is really key because they have knowledge that we just don't have. We're trying to talk about sustainable development and giving young people in the Arctic a future. The European Union is a geopolitical player on the global stage. We will keep working with our international partners to make sure that the Arctic remains a stable, safe, peaceful and prosperous place.